Hi, thank you for joining me at my soil pit. Before we look at the soil pit, it is important to know where we are. So we are situated about 10 kilometers northeast of a little town called Fort Capel. Um, that just so happens to be 10 kilometers northeast from the Capel Valley. Um, the land location we are on right now is northeast for 2213 west of the second. The terrain we have is a hummocky terrain. So a hummocky terrain is created by glaciers sliding and crunching through the earth and uh, leaving, it's kind of a hilly landscape for us. Um, so the prayer material we are dealing with here is lacustrine underlain with glacial tilt. So glacial till is materials that was carried with the glacier and deposited here. Um, so that material might come from thousand kilometers that way, thousand kilometers that way, wherever the glacier went through this particular location. Um, so the crew stream above that is probably a glacial lake that formed in this area after the glacier went through and this area that we are right now is kind of a low area so this might have been like in the middle of the lake so all those lake sediments deposited right here so just to give some perspective that is where the soil pit is situated and you can see it's pretty flat where we are right now and when you go farther that way you'll see the rolling hills hummocky terrain starting to come out so as you can see this has worked and the spot that the soil pit is has not been worked in six years it's mainly because the cedar doesn't fit in there anymore um, it's dominated by smooth brome for the last six years so that um, that's that's good for the soil because it's good root growth and a lot of organic matter has been deposited into that A horizon. So this area is mapped as having regal black turnozems on the hilltops, calcareous black turnozems on the flatter areas, and glycolic soils in depressions. So we are on a flatter soil, we're definitely not in a depression. So looking at the soil profile, we have three distinct horizons. We have an A horizon, a B horizon, and a C horizon. We can see that by changes of color and, and structure from the A horizon to the B horizon. This structure is more of a medium granular structure, as you can see here. And it's um, the texture class is a silty clay loam. So the texture class of the B horizon is also a silty clay loam, but because it's the different horizons, because it's, it's, its color is a little bit lighter, and it has a more small blocky blocky structure rather than having a medium granular structure. So the sea horizon, we have small granular structure. And by looking at it, I can't get it now, but uh, it, is, it, it is a, a small granular structure. By looking at it, we can see some color change. And the big thing about it is that it effervesces. So the A horizon and the B horizon does not ever vest. So we can just confirm that quickly. No effervescence in the A, nothing in the B. But when you go down to the C, it has quite vigorous effervescence, which is my favorite part of digging a soil pit. And I'm pretty sure it's every soil scientist's favorite part of digging a soil pit. It's, it's, it's about as exciting as it gets. <laughs> and so the A horizon, is about 23 centimeters thick, the B horizon about 35, and the C horizon is the parent material. So the parent material here is glacial till, and we can see that within the C horizon. So I'm kind of surprised because this area is mapped as being calcareous black turnozems. That means that it needs effervescence in its B horizon. But this one does not. So that's just something to note of. So looking at the soil horizons, the A horizon uh, is 20 centimeters thick. It has a lot of organic matter in it. Um, 
We're gonna classify that as an AH normally, but because I know there has been human disturbance, uh, I'm gonna classify it as an AP horizon. The B horizon, um, there's nothing really, there's no revescence in it, no salinity in it. The thing it has, it it's different from the parent material in the C horizon. So we're gonna classify that as a BM horizon. Um, the C horizon, however, has effervescence. Um, so we're gonna classify that as a CK classification. So this soil is then classified in the end as an orthic black Chernozem. Uh, it's supposed to be, according to the, the SKSS, it's supposed to be a calcareous black Chernozem but variety in soils is, is different and this just proves it. Thank you for helping me classify the soil. I hope that you learned something, uh, that you sparked a new interest for our beautiful Saskatchewan soil. Most importantly, that you enjoyed it. Thank you. Have a nice day.